Hey guys, welcome to day 144 of my carnivore journey. Uh, earlier, we filmed a live episode where I had a special guest on, Dan Linehan. Uh, we had a great conversation. Um, he had some great viewpoints. Really enjoyed it. Had a good time. There was a lot of good information. A lot of other people had, had uh, feedback I got. Also enjoyed it. So if you haven't seen it, go back and check it out. Um, but I wanted to do a, a separate update on my daily uh, vlog. That way, for those of you that's been watching my uh, what I eat and how I feel, I want to make sure I include that as well. So today, I actually had an experimental type of situation. I had some ground beef, and I did taco flavoring. So my, I did some carnivore taco flavoring, basically. Um when I say carnivore, I mean dirty. Like you can't really do clean carnivore tacos, Harley. It's going to be a little dirty. Um, it was chili powder, garlic, onion, and uh, salt, pepper. <laughs> um, but I also did cheese. Um, I did a sharp cheddar cheese. And what I tried to do was actually fry it in the pan. And once you fried it in the pan... Like you basically heat up the pan, like after you saute your, 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 um, oh, by the way, I added like a half a cup of water to the ground beef. So once you cook that ground beef, we can let it simmer on a real low, just, you know, let those, everything get nice and happy. Meanwhile, you heat up a small saucepan or a frying pan type deal, uh, nonstick. And I put a handful of cheese. I grated a pound of cheese, but um, I didn't eat all of it, of course. But I grated and I put a handful of cheese in the pan, and then you want to let it melt. Um, and you kind of, you know, you spread it around, obviously, into a shape of a tortilla type thing. Let it melt. And then I cooked it until about this type of consistency, where it was starting to brown. You could tell on the one side. And it takes a little bit. But then I would put literally, like, you just take a half a cup, measuring cup, and scoop some of your meat and spread it on half of the deal, uh, the, the cheese, and then you carefully fold over the other half, like some kind of cheese melt, and then put it on your plate. I will say that flavor-wise was decent. I mean, who doesn't like fried cheese, really, in that sense? Um, I wouldn't call it a failure and I wouldn't call it a success. I think that it was a little greasy, at, you know, with the, the, the cheese. Um, Laura Spaeth does a version of mozzarella. And I got to say that's, that's better. Like using mozzarella in this case is going to be better than the, the, the cheddar cheese. I thought maybe I could do a fried cheese thing it would come out you know along with my taco meat i figured hey and and again it, it was i ate like uh two of the three and i saved the last one so if i start getting hungry i've got me a little bit of a cheese uh, taco snack um so but that's what i had um i didn't officially film it because it was experimental i didn't want to just film something like hey guys check out this and and then you guys make it and it's like uh you know okay like that's weird <laughs> you know so i didn't want to do that so um i just took some pictures along the way and was like well i'll just tell you guys what it is and whether or not i recommend it or not but um but in any case i will see you guys tomorrow day 145 uh i i don't have a lot other to tell you i just wanted to tell you what i ate I felt good throughout the day, no real problems. Um, so I, I don't really have much to say. As far as a lunch goes, I didn't have a lunch. That was it. So, all right, guys, I will talk with you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to check out day 145. Bye.